this on that. What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today, we are gonna be dropping Jessica's truck down. I have went ahead and ordered this probably like a month or two ago and I have not gotten the chance to drop it. But today I spoke to Jessica's dad and he's like, oh, go ahead and come over here. I got shade and everything so I won't be outside in the sun <laughs> trying to drop this truck. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna head that way and we're gonna drop this truck, show you the whole process. I believe Ketchup's going and one of Jessica's cousins, uh, Michael, I'm gonna put his Instagram here as well. Uh, he's gonna be helping me out, drop, drop this truck down. Of course, right now it's gonna have stock tires, stock wheels, the Texas editions, but of course, later on, Right now, we're gonna have it see see if it doesn't rub, but if it does, then we'll have to switch out the tires. She said that if, if she was ever dropping this truck, she'll leave it with her stock tires until she buys new ones, but we'll see what we could do. Maybe get, possibly get her another set of different kind of tires. Let me put all this drop kit inside and head over there. So yeah, let's go. I was also gonna say a shout out to Vic from IHC Suspension. He went ahead and hooked it up with us, made it possible for us to drop this truck. He went ahead and sent it over here all the way from the valley. So go ahead and subscribe to them. I believe they do have a YouTube channel and Instagram. So go ahead, I'm gonna put it right here or in the description below. Go ahead and follow them and give them a sub. All right guys, I just did a reel. I got Michael uh, moving in the truck. We're gonna put it in, in the techito that, that Jessica's dad has. So we're gonna start working on it. First, we're gonna work on the front side and then we're gonna work on the back side. Hopefully, let's see how long it takes. Ketchup is on his way. He's gonna help me out, record some stuff. So let's get started. All right, we're about to start taking off the steps. Nice time, Michael, follow him here. We're about to take off the side steps before we lift it up and doing all that. Cause once it's dropped, we're gonna have to lift it up to take them off. So might as well do them right now. We just took off the steps. They're right here, they're for sale. If you wanna hit me up. We're about to lift up the truck. We're taking off the tires. We gotta look for the lock. Michael just remembered about the lock. So yeah, let's find that, take off the tires and start working on it each side of the controller. Mm -hmm. sensor thing so the line can be freed up and i believe these two screws come unbolt so you can have more playroom with this shit. so with the 10 you can take it off quick boom and there you go so what i usually do i put them back on because you're not going to lose these screws and we're about to take off this brake pad or brake caliper and hang it up like the other side there's the chicken wire we need so yeah and just as everybody knows don't hang your caliper down because you're gonna break your line or you're gonna rip something always use either chicken wire or if you have the hooks to hang it with use that too now so i'm gonna make a reel from this <laughs> from the vlog uh, Damn, boy, thick. <laughs> we're taking off the bolts for the truck. Let me go bring the drill real quick. Pump. Yeah, yeah, hello. Yeah. God damn, he's doing the big one. <laughs> ah. Feel like a man? Feel like a man. <laughs> damn, weight reduction. Yeah? Is this your truck? I don't know. You got shit on your face again, off. I don't mind. Yeah. Uh, I, was, I wanted you to touch your face. <laughs> I'm gonna take off the shot from the top and the bottom. So if you just give me some some play before I take off the controller. Let me go get a pry tool. Again. All right, guys, I just took off the shocks and I'm already taking off the top control arm. So it should be coming off. Boom. There's the old one. The good thing about dropping your truck or lifting it 
you get new ball joints and so this truck is really was well, like 2016 so it's almost almost going to be a 10 year old truck it's always better to have new ball joints i just took off the stability bar because the bolt from the bottom control arm won't come out so it's mainly on this side so where the stability bar is so you got to take it off the bolt will come right out and you'll be able to put the new one on i'm putting up the ball joint for the top control arm the way it's set that's how it usually is on the truck so the ball joint the spindle goes right here and it makes pressure up. So that's why the ball joint has to be at the bottom and screw it up to the top. I'm gonna tighten it up before I put it on. I'm gonna do the other ball joint for the other side so you can have it ready. And yeah, we'll install them in a bit. I'm greasing up the sides of the walls and I'm gonna be gre greasing up the, the bushings so we won't have any squeaking problems. And then at the very end, you're gonna put uh, grease on the actual inside of the bushing. So yeah, let's do that. Don't be cheap with your grease. Go ahead and smudge it all in. Make sure you put these back on because there's like little tabs that this goes on and that's your alignment. If you don't put this on, you won't be able to align your truck. You see how it is right here? Yeah. It went on the thing. So that's pretty much that. If you twist the screw, they should be able to twist the whole thing on. All right, guys, I already put everything on. Right now, what I'm gonna do on the instructions, it says you need to use a half inch uh, drill bit to drill the top piece because the ball joint is slightly bigger on the threads. You got to drill it to make it a little bit, at least a little bit, I guess half an inch bigger so the thread can go all the way and the ball joint can sit on the actual strut and be able to screw everything on and not have problems of it coming off. Let's do that. Right now I'm going to record it. I'll move on to the bottom. If you, if you can see this, the little half moon, whatever the hell that shit is called. That half moon is pretty much your alignment. It has to be right in the half. That's what Victor said. Right on the half so the alignment shop can be able to properly align it and not get sniped, not get rejected. So yeah, let's do that. This one's right in the half from the end. Like I said, not to tighten it as much because then you're gonna mushroom your bushings. All right, guys, I went ahead and put the brake pad back on. I greased up everything. Everything should be good. As you can see, there's grease on all the whole, the every, and everything that we greased the other side. Right now we're putting the brake pads and connecting all the sensors back on before we put the tires back on. So yeah, everything, I'm gonna pre-check everything, make sure everything's okay before anything. And yeah, right now we're gonna lower it down to see how the front looks. We've been here for 10 hours, but look. I'm out here. It's really camber. Cambered. Camber the world. Guys, folks, relax. Relaxation. Damn, this thing looks low, low. Imagine we didn't even turn it up. Everything is really stood up loose. That space here, again. that, that thing over there. Bolts. Bottom one. Top one for the top. Yeah. Start with the time this. Yeah. I got that, Lisa. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Alright. Ready? Yeah, slowly. Yeah. 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 How does it look? It looks really towed out, but ahorita we'll fix the tow. Damn, you know? Work on it. Okay. Leave it like that, yeah. <laughs> Start a new trend. Starting new trend. Reverse tailing or what? Even like this. Come on, mira, Michael. Come on, mira. Oh, we put it back to stunt. <laughs> Dang. Ahorita, we're gonna do the backside. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long so we can finish the reel that I made. And then call Jessica. She should be pulling up with the Kiyoli. Let's try to finish this shit. Go. Just lower it. On. From here, I don't know what the fuck to do. All right, guys, we're working on the back. So we already took off the, the stock brick. 
and this thing we flip the boat around right now we're going to take off the tow head to take off the shackle and then swing this under swing this under the differential so it could be a, as a flip kit and then add the rest of the stuff so let's take off the tow hitch first and yeah all right, here's another tow hitch for some. I'm just kidding. We just took off the tow hitch. We're about to work on the shackles, taking them off, loosening up the front bolts so we can swing the, the leaf springs around under the actual differential so it could be an actual flip kit. Let's do that. We tired. It's 810, so we tired. We'll be able to do it today, for sure. We just flipped the, the leaf springs around, so hopefully we were able to cut it with one <laughs> blade. What are you putting on gloves on for? <laughs> what, what do you need the gloves for, Oscar? Just in case I cut my finger. <laughs> Alright, we're No. <laughs> That's gonna take forever. Yeah, it's gonna take fucking forever. It's a muscle blade? A ver. It's right there, look. You wanna put the other ones? This one's it's not for that, but it's the only thing we have. What's that for? Wood. No I'm not. No, what the fuck are you doing? The other way, the other way. The other side. <laughs> It's not, it's not bad. It's not doing, is it doing? Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not Hold on, I'm not recording. Boy, you better be recording. Nah, he just wants to do the last one, so it looks like he's. This is tough work. Here, that way you can skip. Did I fuck up the motor? The motor? <laughs> this man <I> fucked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we just cut the bump stops. We're about to do the flip kit. So let's install that. We'll show you the process. And yeah, and then afterwards, the last thing will be the shock. Then mount the tires and bring it down. Take it for a test drive. Hello. Hello. What time is it? Oh, it's freaking 12 in the morning. Take it or take over? <laughs> <laughs> We're about to tighten up the shackles. We just did the flip kit. As you can see, that's what it's called, flip kit. You flip the differential on top of the leaf springs. So it normally set, sits at the bottom. Now it's sitting on the top. That's pretty much what a flip kit is. And it has a drop shackle. We're about to tighten them up. Yeah. Right now we're gonna go test drive it and, and fix the toe. But tomorrow we can take it to the alignment.
cold start. <laughs> Okay, my kid. <laughs> you should have left the running board on. Yeah, so it scrapes everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pick up our meds, go test test drive it, and oh, we gotta turn it on. Right. Sounds good. Yeah. I did that to my car. It sounded like shit. <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was gonna sound like it's a V8. I know. But I, th I didn't think, I think, I thought it was going to sound like obnoxious, like, yeah. It's a V6, sounds fucking... Oh, yeah, it sounds like... My, my car, on the corner. Yeah, that's the worst thing I would have done. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Move it backwards and forwards? It's supposed to be like that, for racing. It sounds better than your truck. Here, woman, see your truck. I can't see. Put it on. Three, two, one. What happened to you? I don't know. I'm dirty. But dad got a bit. Uh, got a really nice stance. Even ketchup likes it. Yeah. That's because ketchup doesn't even like Sorry, a truck ketchup. like that. I know. Turn it on. Turn the thing on. <laughs> What? What oh, what? What? <laughs> what you do? You hold it too long. You had to do a do over. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sounds better. Sounds better, huh? Now you can Did hear it. it. Now we just need to put a border attack from new car motor shop. You want to test drive? Wait, I can. Yeah, there's a no problem. I wish it doesn't fuck. I have a mess in my truck. Let's go to McDonald's. It comes with the wallet. Wait, what? <laughs> now it's low, low. It's a four-six drop. That's what you were looking for. I wanted it more low, but y'all don't even have a kidney. Kidney. Ah, it looks so weird. Okay, my kid. How's the steering wheel turning twisted? Is it stiff or no? It feels the same. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say, no, it's fucking stiff as fuck. No, it feels, well, I think it feels the same. <laughs> oh, oh, raspa poquito. Does it drive straight or no? No. <laughs> okay, the, the steering wheel is kind of twisted? Uh, I, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like, good. we still, we need a... Go get it aligned, no? Yeah, we still need to go get it aligned. <laughs> hold on to this shit. Yeah, but hold on to your life. Alright, step on it. I can't, not over here. What? I'll do it over. So, do I do it like last time? Oh shit, well, I need to put a seatbelt on. Oh, no, Everybody put I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm, I'm alive, but I'm dead. <laughs> but remember the Laura, yeah, no, nothing. I'm not gonna see one. Wait, what? Me, so I'm pregnant doing this. Take it off my plate. <laughs> <laughs> what was that ketchup? This shit was stuck underneath. Who'd you run over? What do you mean? It was underneath the truck. Yeah, it was two pieces of wood underneath your truck. I haven't really dove in it anywhere. If, if, if anything, that was maybe Oscar, because Oscar doesn't know how to So, how do you like your stance? It will hit me later. Okay. Uh, on the day? Yeah. So, you can see probably, it now? Yeah, in the day, because right now, so tomorrow I'll probably take it to go get a line for you because you really need an alignment and we need tires. So yeah, we're gonna have to change that, change the tires. Ooh. You like it? 
I don't know. I don't get me wrong, yes. But I'm not used to it. I'm used to my stock truck. So what are you driving this one or, or my truck? Oh drive my truck so I can test this one out. Since that's the drive right there. Yeah. Since my truck is good. Alright guys. So that was it for today. We tired. We started off at two. What time is it? Twelve? Mm, yeah, that's a ten hour. That was a ten hour damn drop. It was our first time. Yeah. yeah. Not bad for our first time. We actually knocked it down in one day. Yes, yeah. which is a really, really a gladly appreciated. Um obviously from oscar and then from my cousin helping out and catch up over here and michael bebe being late but i don't know what he did but yeah he helped out what he do no he helped him he helped us uh what's called swing the diff and all that sort of stuff <laughs> <Is it a lot>? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah guys go ahead and follow them it's gonna be in the description below if y'all want to shop the merch go ahead and shop the link is gonna be in the description i'm extending that 10 percent for everybody so a lot of people can get the 10% make sure you put the promo code and it's gonna give you 10% off of your order you can buy a decal you can buy a shirt either or go ahead and shop now support the channel and thank you for watching this video <laughs> give it a like <laughs> subscribe subscribe if you're new comment down below what you want to see next and what do you think about the drop what tires I should go with so it won't rub on the sides if y'all think of any wheels that I should put on this truck let me know Comment it down below and yeah, we'll see you on the next one.